This is the physics behind kicking a field goal by Alex, Will, and Richard. Okay, to reiterate the point of force behind field goal kicking, we are trying to figure out the acceleration of football as it goes off a kicker's foot. Now, okay, try, we took two trials. Trial one and trial two. Trial one, time equals 3.3 .3 seconds. Wind was about 15 miles per hour, but we didn't necessarily take that into, into too much account. Distance, 53 yards, conversion, we got 48 meters and significant figures. Now, we are trying to figure out the V naught of the equation because it's the initial velocity component of the initial acceleration. So, we took 48 meters over 3.3 seconds. We got 15 for the X component. For the Y component, acceleration due to gravity times time equals 2y. y being the accel <coughs> acceleration in the y, the y component of the velocity. And we came up with 16. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we got 16 squared plus 15 squared equals v naught squared, which comes to 22 meters per second. Now on a trial two, T equals 3.1 seconds, wind again, distance 48 yards, conversion equals 43.68 with significant figures 44 meters. Now the Y component took the acceleration due to gravity times time equals 2 times the Y component of the velocity which comes out to 15 meters per second. Then we take the Pythagorean theorem, 14 squared plus 15 squared equals 21 meters per second. Then we try to figure out the acceleration by using this equation. Acceleration due to distance and initial and final velocity. <clears throat> initial and final velocity. Now, initial velocity, the ball started from a T, which should be rest. So we eliminated that portion from the uh, equation. Now onto the calculation. So we have 2a times delta x, or displacement, which is 48 meters, equals v naught squared. After calculating, acceleration is, after significant figures, 5 meters over seconds squared. Trial 2, we have 2a times 44 equals 21 squared. After calculation, we get acceleration equals, again, 5 meters per second squared due to the fact that significant figures are relatively low and limited. So we know we have good precision because both values in each trial are similar. And that's how we figured out the acceleration of football as it left the kicker's foot. So next time, it comes down to the final seconds of a crucial NFL game or college. Uh, you know what's happening when that kicker takes his three steps over, two steps to the left, lines the ball up, and swings his leg through the ball, and does his little jump forward, and as he watches the ball, sail through the uprights. Or, unless it's Kyle French for the Badgers, you're going to watch the ball go maybe to the left to the right. So, all right. Thanks for watching.